In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we continue our first looks at the new version, PowerDirector 16, and we're going to look at the Collage Designer. This is a supplemental lesson to help you overcome a limitation. I received some queries about, well, if you can only animate the frames at the beginning or at the end, not at both times, is there a way around it? And I found a workaround I think you might find interesting. So what we're going to do is I'm going to click on this bottom track and we're going to edit the video collage. And there are a couple things that we have to do in order to make this trick work. What I'm going to do is I have this collage and we have three images, one up here, one over here, and one to the upper right. And I, on this collage, we're going to animate the frame from the beginning. So this will be my collage with the beginning animation, but I have to change the setting to make it look good. I click on settings and I have to start the playback of the clips after the frames are animated. In other words, I want them frozen to start with and I'll click on OK. And so now if I play this, what will happen will be it will go ahead and animate, but the videos will not run until after all the frames are locked into their position. And then what I do is I click on OK and it will save this or resave this to my particular track. And then I'll, um, I'll cancel this because I've done that already here. We'll click on no. So this would be that track, track two. And then I move my cursor to track number one, as I've done before. And then I'm going to do the same thing again. Now, unfortunately, you cannot save a video collage except in the timeline. Uh, I can't save it anywhere else unless I want to uh, actually render this as a complete project. But what I can do is I can go ahead and I can recreate that collage. That's what I've done here. So I'm going to click up here. And what I have to remember if I'm going to recreate it is I have to put the same pictures in the same quadrants. I have to use the same layout. And then I have to make sure that if I've used, if I've moved any of the images le around, left or right, up or down, whether video or still pictures, that I try to do my best to do about the same thing on this one. So these two look identical as much as possible. And then on the second version of this, what I want to do is I want to change the animation to during closing. And this will allow me the opportunity to uh, change the animation there. And then I can save it. I don't have to change the settings here to pause with the animation because I can if I want to, but I don't have to since this will be the majority part of my collage. I'm only going to use the introduction of the other part. I'll click on cancel here. So once I do that, I save that to a different track and click OK. And I've done that so far. The third step I have to do is I have to go to my bottom track, which has my front end animation. And I take my playhead and I move it to, to the end of the animation where the frames are locked in place. And here it's approximately uh, th uh, 3 seconds 28 frames uh, when I was working on this earlier. So I take it and I move it to that location in the timeline. And uh, then, then what I do is I go ahead and I highlight that video and I split it at that moment in time. And so I split the track with the frames moving in the front. And then all I need to do is I need to take this, uh, the lower section here to the right and I delete it. So I've got a new front end. And then I have the back end with the animation that ends over here. Now I have two options. I can make it longer by dragging this over equal to my uh, scrubber. And it will actually be a longer clip. Or I can just let this override uh, the first few seconds uh, with the still images. And then the video will take off over here. Um, so you can do one or the other depending on, on what you want to do. 
so that gives me the option. If I want the, the maximum movement on my videos, I would be tempted to lengthen the entire project simply by moving this over here and then go ahead and produce the video. And I'll show you in a second what it looked like when I tried to do so. But this will give you an approximate look. So here I have movement of frames and I have the introduction to the video. And then we have the, the, the uh, stable look until the end of the video. We finally end with the road, which is the longest clip. And then we'll see at the end, okay, we have movement out. So that's an example of how you can take this particular uh, limitation in your video collage designer and overcome it in PowerDirector version 16. <laughs>